boys and girls. This is Ted and this is Ride with Ted. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you can make it. Thanks for sticking with the channel too. I really appreciate that. Hey, so I'm home from Sturgis. Yay. As you saw that in the last video. Now what I want to show you is how I packed the bike and packed for the trip. Hopefully you will learn some valuable lessons from this. All right. Let's unpack sugar and then I'll show you how I packed the bike. This is gonna be fun, period. The bike I own is a 2003 Harley Davidson Heritage Classic. This is the way I pack the bike. And I have the uh, Passenger plane here, rear bike rack, two saddlebags, one on either side. So this is how I do it. First things first, I take bungees and I put them around the rails for the bike rack itself. And two single ones just dangling like this. I also prepare two ratchet straps hooked onto the rear of the rack, giving me plenty of slack, and then I rest the ratchet end on the seat. Take these hooks, like that, put them over the rack, like that. And I take the big door pack, rest it on there, take the two lower straps, and feed them around the bottom. Pull them nice and tight, relax. Then I take this, straps go over the top of this one and I pull this nice and tight that way here we go now while theoretically that should be enough so it doesn't move as you can see it wobbles quite a bit so that's why I use the ratchet straps and they have what happens with them is hooks underneath the bottom of the rack here and I slip the ends over the top Pick up the slack. Once that's all settled, I snug it up. The duffel goes here. Now, if you're smart, unlike me, you'll have a waterproof duffel. And this is what the loops are for. You take the loop, Bungees over the top of the bag. Make sure they're long enough to do this. Keep one strap down. Make sure that your grab strap, your handle strap is down here. I put my roll bag on top. And I feed it through the one loop that's on top here with one of the Velcro straps. Loop it around just to make it tight make it snug. I take the two straps here, hook them onto that strap of the duffel, and then I latch that to one of the rings on the tour pack. Like this. Not going anywhere. Then, finally, I take this bungee, which is also around the rail, and I loop this over the top onto the grab strap, onto the grab strap. Am I done? No, I am not. Then I take the excess straps from the ratchets, and I feed them through here, all the way down to the grab strap. back up through the handles. This way, underneath all of them, and tie it off. Finally, tank back. And there you have it. Now, 
It might seem a little excessive, but let me tell you something. I've been packing this way for years. It's solid. Then I move that and the whole bike moves. It's nice and solid. It doesn't go anywhere. Tried and true method. So if you're packing your heritage and or even your Road King and you have the soft saddlebags, you're good. Uh, just speaking of the soft saddlebags, let me tell you what I got going on here. This saddlebag on the right side is all tools and locks. Extra extra straps, bungees, towel to dry things off, locks, tools, all the necessary tools, plus a Halo battery pack. And this is what the Halo battery pack looks like. I highly recommend you get one. It's worth it. If you ever find yourself in trouble, bike won't start, whatever the case may be. These are perfect. They work for cars, trucks, you name it. These things are great. I also have in there my new electronic tire pump. Fantastic. It works wonderfully. It's one of those things where you hope you never need. And I also, in my saddle pack there, I also have a quart of oil because you never know when you're going to need it. All right. In the left side of the saddle bag, in here, this is where I keep my bike cover and the dreaded rain gear which is now laid out in my driveway drying off. So there you have it, boys and girls. That is how you pack a Heritage Classic and or you can do the same thing for a Road King or any bike that has the two-up seat and two leather saddlebags. That type of thing, you can do it. That's the best way to do it, I find, and it serves your purpose. But do yourself a favor. Make sure your duffel is waterproof. That's it, boys and girls. So what else did I have in my saddlebags, you want to know? Okay, here we go. And the right saddlebag, naturally I said I have my tools, that's a bag in there, and I have my Halo power supply and my air pump. Also, I had the front wheel disc lock, a kryptonite lock, two spare locks, a spare ratchet strap, two spare bungees. I didn't necessarily need these two spare bungees I could have done without them. Did I need the spare ratchet strap? Eh. Did I need these two extra locks? No, I did not. So what did I need the locks for? Well, when I stayed at the hotel from hell, the motel from hell, I locked it in the back, locked it in the front. Every hotel stay, I locked the bike, regardless of where I was. I could have probably done without the bungees, extra ratchet strap, and these. Would it have saved me some room? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, on this side here, like I said, I had my bike cover and I had my rain gear. And I also had my soft lowers, which go around the engine guard. I had this weird idea that if it started raining, I would put those on the engine guard and it would keep water from spraying up on my feet and maybe I wouldn't have to use the booties, but uh, I neglected neglected to remember how difficult it is to put those things on. It's uh, super difficult. It's a pain in the ass is what it is. So I didn't even use them. They stayed in the bottom of the saddlebag the entire time. I do have another lock that I keep up on my handlebars right here. It's a master lock, which I keep here. And I use that for locking my helmet to the bike when I go someplace. If I'm on the bike, if I have my full size, my full face helmet with me, I'll lock that to the bike. Um, a lot of times you're going to places that are not biker friendly or, and you know, bikers aren't going to mess with your helmet, but civilians might. So I lock the helmet. But anyway, that's what goes in the saddlebags. Now to put it all away. Now, when you take your ratchet straps apart, make sure that you hit them with a little bit of WD some penetrating oil or even some grease to keep them lubricated when you're done and they will last you forever well-maintained ratchet straps will never let you down one of the other things that i had on the bike which thankfully i didn't have to use was this this is my nelson rig gas ball holder and it's strapped to my rear pillion seat rack here never used it but that's okay because when I got to 
uh, Rapid City, the uh, first thing I did after unpacking the bike was to take that bottle of gas that was in here and put it in the tank. And then I filled it up again before I left. So it was only used on the travels. I didn't necessarily need it anywhere else because there was plenty of gas stations to be found. Well, I shouldn't say that. Actually, when I was out by Devil's Tower, I had to drive some distance before I could find a gas station. So um, might be something good to keep or have on you if you're traveling out there. Now the gas bottle that I use is this one here. This one's my Primus, but I don't know that they're around anymore. But you can get pretty much anything similar to this on Amazon. This holds 1.5 liters. And like I said, I should have had this with me when I went to Devil's Tower because then I wouldn't have to have worried about range anxiety so much. But uh, get yourself one of these. And it fit perfectly inside the Nelson Rig uh, gas bottle holder. Perfect. So the question I asked then is, did I pack too much? Yes. I could have done without a few things. Primarily, probably, t-shirts, the extra socks, the extra the pairs of shorts, the jeans. I'll do a packing wisely video at some point in the future. Keep an eye out for that. Well, that's it, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I really can't wait to read all of your comments on how much I overpacked and how stupid that was. But anyway, hey, I did what I had to do, right? You know, dirty laundry happens. <sighs> what are you gonna do? So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up, okay? And don't forget to comment down below because you know I will respond. And um, that's it for now. Check you out in the next video. Peace and chicken grease. I would do this like this because I'm very close because it's very sunny here. So peace and chicken grease. Peace out. Now let me get back to work. <laughs>